中英字幕。Wow, I'm so jealous that he just gets to like drive around and decide that he's gonna go hit this spot or like go surf that area just randomly. Like, I feel like it takes so much planning and driving and carrying your skis and equipment to go for a day on the hill. So I'm really jealous of that and the warm weather. Well, one thing I will say is that putting a wetsuit on and off is not the funnest thing in the world. I feel like putting on a ski suit might be a little bit easier. So maybe you win that box. <laughs> true. True. That's a good point. <laughs> hey, so you just got off the slopes. You've just been training. But my goodness, you have had an epic year. And now it's 100 days to go to Beijing. I mean, how do you feel about that? I feel like for so long, the Olympics have been this like far away beacon. Like it's this goal that has helped me to motivate myself during training, but it is never really an event that's actually going to arrive. And now that it's 100 days away, it suddenly feels like it's becoming more and more real. So I think that it's really crazy that it's 100 days away and I'm really excited, but I don't think that anybody going into the Olympics is ever going to say that they're 100% ready. Interesting that you say that. What do you think would make you be 100% ready? What's it going to take? I mean, it goes beyond just your capability to do a trick or your capability to land a run. I think that the Olympics are such a special event in that there's the hype surrounding it. There's all the countries coming together. There's the village. There's the sense of community. And that is something that can't really be replicated in any other event. So even if I've competed in, you know, a hundred other setup events, nothing is really going to compare fully to the Olympics because that experience is so unique in and of itself mentally. So I think that in that sense, I'm kind of embracing the unknown because I know that I'm never going to be able to experience it unless I just go and do the thing. So that's kind of my game plan right now. Go and do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you is that is that something that you write into your journal? 艾琳在日记里写了啥呢？请看下集，中英字幕。<laughs> Do you is that is that something that you write into your journal? I know most most athletes journal. What what was the what was today's entry? If if you don't mind me asking, I haven't journaled yet. I normally do it before bed. It helps me fall asleep.、Um, I'll probably write about this this live. So. You can have your name in my journal, and、uh, yeah, no, I'll write about skiing this morning, and、um, just kind of that time is passing, that the the event is coming closer and closer, and the best I can do is prepare to the best of my ability in training every day. I mentioned just before that you've had an incredibly busy year.、Um, you know, it wasn't just winning two gold medals at the X Games、uh, and then a bronze in Big Air. You went and did the same. Thing, won the same coloured medals at、uh, the World Championships this year.、Uh, you also went to the Met Gala. I mean, you've done a lot of things. Is there a highlight of this year so far for you? Oh man, this year has definitely been the best year of my life.、Um, I would say winning X Games. You know, I was the first person in history to win three medals in her rookie year at X Games. So. That was really insane, and then to do the same thing at World Championships again, I think did a lot for my confidence and taught me a lot about dealing with pressure, especially in competing. So I think that that was really good experience for skiing. Outside of skiing, you know, I had my first Vogue cover.、Um, I went to the Met Gala. I have just been learning so much about the fashion world and kind of figuring out what I want my space in that to be. Right now, I'm working on a really exciting project with Vogue China, where I get to go behind the scenes and creative direct a little bit more. So that's really exciting. I think the internet cut out just for a split second, but you said I got into my my dream school. So there's a lot of things to be excited about. That's what I caught. Did I miss anything? <laughs> I yes, Stanford is where I'm going to go to college, and I've really wanted to go for a long, long time. And I applied last year. I was super, super nervous and. Yeah, so I got accepted, and I'm gonna be attending next fall. So incredible! And we forgot to mention that you just turned 18. So I mean, wow, <laughs> you're just jam packing it in. But I want to pick up. You mentioned the word pressure before, and it kind of like was an alarm bell for me because 
When I Googled your name earlier, I love, I love reading different headlines, but I got a bit of anxiety reading some of the headlines. Let me just read out some of the, the things that um, have been written about you. How do these things make you feel? <laughs> but I want to pick up, you mentioned the word pressure before, and it kind of like was an alarm bell for me because when I Googled your name earlier, I love, I love reading different headlines, but I got a bit of anxiety reading some of the headlines. Let me just read out some of the, the things that um, have been written about you. Eileen Gu, Chinese sports icon, superstar in the making, ski prodigy, free ski daredevil to become the face of Beijing 2022. How do these things make you feel? <laughs> Those are funny. Um, I mean, first of all, thank you. <laughs> Those are funny. Um, I mean... First of all, thank you. Those are all positive headlines, so I have nothing to complain about. Um, I'm happy that my name is being portrayed in a positive light, and I'm happy that people think highly of me and look up to me, so that's all that I could really ask for in that sense. I think that going back to kind of what I was saying with X Games and World Championships this year is that I think my whole perspective of pressure and outside pressure especially changed. Like, before, I would think, oh, I'm at this competition. I have to prove myself. I have to do well so that other people or the press or whoever else is here is going to think more highly of me or that so this mm -hmm. person is going to think more highly of me. But now I think after X Games and World Championships and realizing that I'm taking part in an extreme sport where things are innately unpredictable, the weather, you know, the course, the course format, the number of rails, the size of the jumps, the angle of the whole course, like everything can change. And so in that sense, it doesn't make sense to expect the same person to come out on top or on bottom every single time. That's just the nature of the sport. And so in that sense, people can't take away what I've already done. And what I did, I deserved and I worked hard for. And I think it took me a long time to be able to say that because I was always just stuck in this mentality that, okay, I did well now, but I have to keep doing well or else people are never going to love me again. And now I just kind of realized that people are going to, or the people who matter are going to love me no matter what. And the best thing that I can do is try to be positive and try to be a good role model for others and try to do my part in spreading the sport and allowing more people to hear about and partake in free skiing and all the joys that it has brought me. But at the same time, in terms of competitive pressure, you know, the only thing I can do is my best on the day. And if that is a gold medal, then I will be super hyped. And if that is not, then I will still be super hyped because I worked hard. Um, and a lot of people don't get to see what happens behind the scenes. So I think that just realizing people can't take away what's already happened and that doesn't put more pressure on what happens in the future. I can't help but feel a little bit blown away by the growth that you that we have witnessed with you and just the fact that you are so confident in owning who you are, what you are and, and how you do what you do. So kudos to you and your team. Uh, it's just amazing to see where you are. 100 days to go. I'm excited. How excited are you? I cannot wait. I've heard a lot of really exciting things about the food, um, about the venue location, about the train on the way to the village. So I'm just excited to be a part of it. Oh, and also the Olympics are happening during Chinese New Year. So I may or may not have made a pitch that there be dumplings in the Olympic village. So if that yeah, happens... because you normally make that with your granny, right? What? You normally do dumplings with your granny. Yes. So I grew up making dumplings with my grandma it, during Chinese New Year, but the Olympics are happening during that. So I did pitch it to the team um, in China. So maybe there will be dumplings. And if there are... Bon appetit. Or how do you say that in Chinese? Um, there isn't really an equivalent. I think people just say like, Chula or chiba, which is like chur is eat, and then it's like let's eat, sort of. Well, let's eat. Sounds very good. Hey, I've got to let you go, but I'm going to ask you one very quick thing. Um, for you to come away from the Beijing 2022 Olympics to be satisfied, what do you feel you need to do or achieve? That's a really good question because I think that 
every competitive athlete deep down has their goal but um i think it's it's a two-sided thing i'll answer this quickly i think that on one side there's doing the best on the day for myself and so that could mean an olympic medal it could mean not an olympic medal but if i do the best of my ability i know that i will be super happy so that is 100 percent true on the other hand it is the olympics so it would be nice to walk away with a gold or two or two <laughs> or three or three <laughs> Hey, look, again, it is such a pleasure to speak with you. Uh, I know that you've just jumped off the slopes. You've jumped in in front of your phone to speak with us. We so appreciate your time. And uh, again, Stronger Together, we will be seeing you in Beijing. It's, it's going to be so exciting. I'm super excited. Always love talking to you, Ash. And uh, yeah, see you in Beijing. 本场 live 翻译完成热，时长有限，全英字幕请自行做中文，嘿嘿。可以 wink 一下吗？